Today we are going to take a look inside the Dremel flex shaft. I'm going to show you how to disassemble it, we're going to take a look at the parts that are inside it, and I, then I'm going to show you how to assemble it again. Sometimes you might need to do some maintenance, maybe you have to change the shaft lock button, or maybe you have to change the strip spindle. Or you're just curious to how it looks on the inside and how this thing works. So let's just get into it and look inside the Dremel flex shaft. You're going to need a little container to organize all the small parts. You're going to need something sharp like a knife. You're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. And you need the flex shaft itself. First we can take off the collet nut and the collet. Then we can take off the nose cap. Then we take off the metal wire spring thing on the back here. This just pulls right off. Like this. Now we can unscrew the two only screws on the bottom of the flex shaft. As you can see they have a plus sign which means we're going to use a Phillips screw driving bit. Like this one. Let's take out the two screws. Now I have this large clunky screwdriver. Hopefully you have a smaller better one. Store the screws in this little container. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. On both the front and the back of the flex shaft, there's a metal band that keeps the stylo together as of now. We are going to use the knife to remove this. So take the knife and place it in between the flex shaft and the metal band. Like this. And it will come off. The front one can be put with the screws, okay? And then we take the back one. Now just try to wiggle it off. This can be a little bit more challenging. And this can just hang on the wire, okay? Now the flex shaft is ready to come apart. Carefully remove the two sides from each other. And put them down. This is where you should take a picture. So you have it as a reference later. If not, use this as your reference, okay? Now let's quickly take a look at the parts inside the flex shaft. This long metal thing right here is the spindle. The spindle is what rotates your bit. Your bit, your collet nut and your collet will sit on top of these threads right here and inside here. Okay, so when the spindle spins, the wire that goes all the way through the flex shaft also spins. This is how you can drive it all the way from the Dremel motor, okay? This white plastic circle right here is just to stabilize and steer the wire that drives the spindle. And then there's a spring behind this. These two metal things right here are just ball bearings to help the spindle spin more smoothly. This hole right here is where the spindle lock button goes inside to lock the shaft when changing bits. Let's take out the spindle and look at the spindle lock button. Now the spindle lock button sits on the top part of the flex shaft. This little thing right here is just the spring. And this little thing right here is what goes inside the spindle and locks it in place. Like this. So that's about everything that's inside the Dremel flex shaft. Let's put it back together. Put the spindle in the bottom part of the flex shaft. Make sure that the threads are sticking out. Take the white plastic bead and put it in the same slot as it was before. Now you can take the wire and put it inside the plastic bead. Now it doesn't matter that much if the inner wire goes all the way in, we can put that in later, okay? Put the shaft lock button in the top part. And don't forget the spring for the shaft lock button. And then carefully put the spring of the shaft lock button over the hole for the spindle. And then you should be able to press it all the way together. Make sure you get a clean line all the way, okay? First off, we're gonna take the metal ring on the cable and put it back on. This is the hardest part. So you might have to work a little bit for it. There we go. And then it's on. Then we're gonna take the metal ring on the front that sits inside here. Now you can let go of the stylo and it basically sits together. Let's assemble the spring. Just push it right on there. Screw in the two screws. Then 
Then put the nose cap back on. Then put the collet back in. And then the collet nut. Now it is basically finished and ready to use. Let's just turn it on to see if it sounds as it should, okay? Yeah, and that was perfect, sounded just as it should. 